Man, it feels tremendous. It, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. A lot of work put into it. A lot of faith, a lot of persistence. Um, and uh, we're back. We're back, and I, and I feel like we're better than ever. It seemed like you were better than ever inside the octagon. How did you feel in there for those three rounds? I felt like uh, I felt like Daniel really elevated his game. You know, the the two years off and Daniel being uh, active and 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 his team, a testament to his, the great team that he's a part of. Uh, he improved. He pr improved a lot. He, he came with new weapons and and um, a new level of composure. I, I thought he did really really well. What were you able to do in that fight to get the victory? I just stayed the course. I stayed the course. I stayed focused. Um, I stayed picking my shots, and uh, and uh, I just stayed in the game. You felt fresh, and you looked fresh. You, did you feel fresh? Did you feel like it, it, you wasn't anything? It's like the same thing. Yeah, I felt really fresh. I knew that uh, endurance wouldn't be an issue. Um, my timing was a little bit of an issue, and just uh, you know, it had just been a while. It had been a while. I'm not making any excuses. Like I said, Daniel definitely improved. Um, but um, but yeah. I did, I did feel really good. I, I knew that if ring rust was going to be, be an issue or anything like that, um, that I wouldn't allow my endurance to play a factor in that. So endurance was 1,000%. Was Walk me through that finish right there. Man, it just felt great. You know, Daniel Cormier, uh, I think he started getting caught up in it being a boxing match. And uh, I think when, he, when he, he forgot about the takedowns and he forgot about, you know, the kicking and all that, the low, you know, I was just kind of focusing on low kicks. I'm surprised him with a high kick and, and uh, land flush. And, uh, and then smell blood and we put him away. It seemed like you got a little emotional after it was all said and done. Kind of what was going through your mind right there? Man, it's just, man, I spend a lot of time in darkness. And, um, and uh, it, it got really dark. It got really dark. And uh, spend a lot of time being depressed. And to be back here and to have so much light and the cheers, it, it, was, it was a dream come true. It felt like it was my first title. And uh, just became overwhelmed. Kind of feel like a new beginning for you. Kind of, you said you became overwhelmed. A new beginning. It's kind of a new beginning for you right now. It is a new beginning. It is a new beginning for sure. I, right now, I have the opportunity to uh, to just do things better, you know, and, and not be that guy who's known for some of the negative things, but to to um, to get back on that journey of of, of, of uh, raising our sport to a higher level, being a part of that. Brock Lesnar. Why did you feel like he was he was next on the on the Jones hit list? Man, dude, everybody's out here having super fights and making this this big money, man. It's like, why not? Why not get out there and, uh, and do something that's going to be huge for the sport, you know? And you know, bring uh, mainstream America into the MMA game and and, uh, and ultimately get a nice check too, man. I've been pretty inactive, so it'd be great to, to get in there. And, Get a nice payday. If it were to go down, how do you think it would go down between you and Brock? It'd be a hell of a fight, man. I would have to be in tremendous shape, and uh, I would have to have my wrestling game, my striking game, on point. They'd be allowed to have no holes. Hey, but I've seen Dwayne Johnson, and I cannot let this guy walk past me without getting a picture. Go ahead. Yo, it's Stu Brock. It's Stu Brock. Hey, can we take pictures, brother? Come on. All right, right in here.